And uh, uh, shit, I lost my train of thought. God damn it. Oh, so the toast spreaders. Um, even if you're saying like to get our fingers in there is actually works better. But what if like, uh, I don't know, I'm going to sit down and eat dinner. I, so, I'm not going to mess with my feet in front of everybody. Com- a confession is I've actually never used them. I've had two companies that sent them to me. So I'm going to give them a fair shot and try them because I always, A, wanted to be able to see like what can, this should be able to be done without products, right? And I want to see what I could do without that to say like, all right, this is v- available with no equipment, no nothing. You can go and do this stuff. But I will say that, so there's two th- sides of this. One is they can be helpful to start to restore that because you do have these tissues that need to start to get there. That being said, if you, it's, I think they, Again, this is not, this is a belief I have. This is not an educated opinion. So I'm working towards that. But just for what I've seen, people that put them on have a loss of circulation. Because I think they can mm-hmm. be a little bit, people chase the toe spread. But it's like, okay, great. Your toes can spread. But if only, you know, it's like, they, are, are they functional? It's like wearing orthotic. Yeah, it lifts your arch up, but does it actually impede you being able to move? And so our toes, you know, think about this. Like, let's think if I had hand spreaders and I get my, look, look how cool my hand is. This is mm-hmm. really cool. See this guy's, hey, it's funny. It's all follow some of the feet people and they're like, hey, Picture of my feet, like how cool it spreads out like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Guess what? It does this too. It's like, but if it keeps you from doing that, like there is a use case for it. I think it's valuable. It's a step in the right direction, but I would not be personally using more than 20, 30 minutes a day. And I would use it with some intention. Like if I'm going to sit down and eat, maybe dinner, even only just two minutes. Like if your yeah. toes aren't used to being, you know, splanged Absolutely. out like that, and just a couple minutes yeah. might work well. So let's say you, let's say you wake up in the morning and you get brush your teeth, you, you put them on. I would, people like wear them all the time, wear them to sleep in. It's like, yeah. Yeah, that I think that's too much because now you're passively stretching things out and that creates other problems because you don't have the strength. If your feet if your feet look like that, it's because they are like that. It's mm-hmm. like getting to look it's like a push up bra. It's like girlfriend mm. You don't have to. It's just like we're the guy that I've got a, a kid who a train and I give a shout out to him, but I'm not going to say his name. He walks in with these shoes. He got like an inch heel on them. And then inside, I took them off and I'm like, wait, what are these? He's got heel lifts in his shoe. And I'm like, Aww. that gives me, he's like an inch half taller. And I'm like, buddy, they're going to love you for who they are. College coaches want me to be taller. It's like, no, your girlfriend's going to love you for who, she, who you are. It's like, yeah. You know, <laughs> like the point is, what can your feet do, not how do they look? And this is where people get caught up with like, I got flat feet, I got low arches, they don't look pretty. It's like, that's not as important as how functional they are. So I think they're good. And as Mark, that's a great point, like two minutes, 10 minutes and do that. Like, and then, then I would get in after that and actively do some like hand foot glove and start to work on some of the other stuff. You know, the kid, like say you're driving to the gym, you put them on in your shoe, you get to the gym, you do some stuff and then you go like, and the other cool thing I will say about this is, and uh, if you guys do any lifting today, it's like. Once you turn the switch on, you can still put shoes on and still feel better. It's yeah. like you turn the switch on and it keeps going. It's not like I did all my, this is the problem you'd have. Like you go do foam rolling, you do all this mobility stuff well, back in the day. And then it's like, I do that. And then the second I get up, it's like, I get stiff and tight again. It's like, no, your feet turn on. And then I get people feedback to go through my program. And they're like, oh, my running felt light. My lifting was good. I felt more balanced. I felt more engaged. And when I do this stuff, I do some foot stuff right before I lift. It's like, I feel engaged. I can stand on one foot. And I have this total body turn on. So it is one of those things where when you turn your feet on, they stay on. It makes total sense because it's like when a lot of people talk about warming up before a lift, some people will literally just sit in a foam roll. Some people will actually do squats. Some people mm-hmm. will do pre-activation of the certain muscle groups so that they can feel it before they lift, so they can feel their triceps before they bench press. Um, so you actually use your toes before you lift. And guys, with what we we did, it's going to come out via video. You guys will feel a very big difference in your feet. And I do want to say I've used toe spreaders and I use them for a bit. I was walking around with toe spreaders inside the office, quite literally putting my fingers in between my toes, moving them around, mm-hmm. doing those exercises. Not that toe spreaders aren't useful, but these are free things mm-hmm. um, that I think are more useful to do than having my toes spread in the toe spreaders for a prolonged period of time. I think they still have their place and maybe they can be put on for, for a bit and it's good, but it's not as useful as putting your fingers in between, manually moving them around, doing the exercises, Mm -hmm. and then going and doing the work you need to do. That's more useful than walking around in toe spreaders. And you know what's even better than that? Give him some lotion in the market and let him put his fingers between your toes. Oh, Mm -hmm. actually, yeah. got a partner hand glove. It's like, ooh. I think that was, you were supposed to do that, right? You were supposed to uh, pull out the, you're supposed (laughs) to. It happened already. You missed it. uh, I was supposed to lotion up my legs. Go ahead, yeah. (laughs) So this is uh, this is actually actually I know this sounds satirical, but this is actually a great idea. In uh, so a few people in, the, in one of the second and third classes were like, you know, they couldn't get in their hand like literally people couldn't get their hands between their gloves, but they were like, oh, if you put some lotion on, it makes a big up. difference. Yeah, it makes a big difference. It, I was like, I didn't fucking think about that. It's like that's what she said. <laughs> hey, wait, before you go, you got this far. That means that you've enjoyed the heat that we're continuing to bring you. So listen, listen, like the video. 
comment something down below. We'll reply back and subscribe to the channel because we continue to bring you the heat. Seriously, do it. Love you. Bye.